Um, I don't like having beef with people, dude. I don't like having bad um, feelings, bad energy between me and people, you know? I'd rather I'd rather talk things out with people than uh, sit here and, like, you know, fucking keep on keeping on with, like, weird drama and me trying to one-up somebody else. Because that, that's just, just exhausting, you know? It's exhausting having to be, like, a weirdo about things where, like, you can't just be around someone. You have to feel like, uh, you feel like you have to, like... Oh, fucking, uh, 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 fuck off. You, you feel like you're going to have to do that at a moment's notice. You know, that's, that's hellish. I don't, I don't like that kind of thing, you know? Um, you know, and, and, and I, I don't like the way that people handle a lot of shit today. You know, I, I made a, I made a tweet about that last night. I'll, I'll read it out for you guys. I'll, I'll read, I'll read my own brilliant writing out for you guys. I ended up saying, um, I think one of the most underdeveloped skills in people today is the ability to just calmly lay out how you feel and what problem you have with someone. It's so rare people can't comprehend it when they see it and they get anxious or upset about it. And that that goes both ways. Like like I can't like I can't just come to you and be like, "Yo, dude, I'm kind of upset at the way you did this thing," right? I have to I have to harbor resentment and then take it out on you. I have to lash out at you. Or if I do confront you, I have to do it in a way that is like exceedingly rude and inappropriate you know but then on the flip side of that you also have people who like um you know and and i talked about this with like uh um gen z right i talked about this with uh uh you know when we were talking about gen z the other day um and it's not just gen z that does this millennials were the same way right it's really a millennial gen z thing um late millennial gen z and beyond thing i i guess you could say um any real emotions you have, anytime you have a legitimate problem with somebody and you're like, yo, I want to hash this out because I really didn't appreciate the way that you talked to me. I didn't appreciate the way you did that thing you did or whatever it is. Their their instinct, instead of being like, oh, all right, I understand what you're saying. Let's work through this, is to be like, hey, what are you fucking mad, bro? <laughs> you mad? You mad, dude? <laughs> are you owned right now? I'm owning you right now, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> Right. Either that or maybe they're just like, yeah, shit happens, bro. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you, bro. Mm, shit happens. Yeah. Like that's that's a very millennial thing. And it's, um, you know, that's not normal. It's a very millennial and Gen Z thing. I've said that like 10 times now. I think you guys get it. It's not a normal thing. Normal people, regular people, um, well adjusted people don't behave that way. You know, even if you have to tell somebody, hey, man, that sucks. Tough luck there's a way to do it that is classy there is a way to do it that is uh just better overall it's it's better it's better it's nicer it's cleaner you know um you don't leave messy bleeding pulsating wounds in somebody if you got to cut them you make it a nice clean cut with a scalpel not a fucking not a fucking uh um a hacksaw you know um, fucking, but most people just are not that way, you know, and it, it, it bugs the hell out of me, you know, that's why I wanted to go to Letty and talk to her because I was a little bit drunk. I'll be honest with you. Um, and we had spoken a little bit in the past, but we hadn't really actually gone aside away from everybody and been like, yo, here's my problem with you. What's your problem with me? You know, we, we hadn't actually really done that. And when we did that, I think some good things happened, you know? Um, like I said, we'll see what happens in the future. Maybe, maybe if she's still around and I'm still around fucking maybe three, four months from now, we're in the same exact spot we were in whatever, but you know, that's the, that's, you know, diplomacy, um, um, civility, the ability to hash out your problems without violence, which I know I'm the guy who's big into like, oh, you know, uh, you, you settle it like men, tussle, right? Um, I know like that's kind of my thing, but I think before you do that, you should try to settle things with words, right? Um, you know, that's not something people do anymore because they simply just don't have the capacity to do so. They can't walk up to someone and say, hey, man, that wasn't cool what you just did. Don't do that again, you know? Um, and it sucks because anyone who is like that ends up being like nifty, which like not to, not to be like completely and totally awful to nifty, but like, um, you know, she's the type of person who like, she sounds like a mother who, uh, nobody actually listens to or respects, you know, 
She's like, hey, that's my personal space. You need to watch out for my personal space. You know, she she uh, she speaks like a teacher does. She speaks like a teacher does. Hey, that's my person. That's my personal space. You need to watch out for my personal space. She speaks like that. Like that. That's how she talked to me in uh in the cell. That uh that um when we were in cell when we were in cells um that's how she spoke to me and a couple other people in the cell and it was just like ah man dude like. You're a fucking boner killer, bro. You're, you're being a boner killer, Nifty. What are you what are you doing, bro? What are you doing? You know? <coughs> oh, excuse me. It comes naturally to people to shirk responsibility and to shirk the seriousness, to shirk the severity of any given situation. You know? Um, that's the natural response we have because we as sinners don't want to take responsibility for what we did, right? Um to be able to look someone in the face and say, yeah, I did that. That was not okay of me to do. It's 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 not something that we naturally are inclined to do. It's not something I'm inclined to do. I It took me a long time to be able to just say, yeah, I did that and it was not okay. I shouldn't have done it and I apologize, you know? Um, but most most people are just incapable of doing that. They just, they just don't, you know? Um... And, and that's, and that's why I try not, and that's why I mostly try to avoid talking to people in the first place is because I don't feel like having to deal with people who are like that. You know, um, it happened to me recently with somebody who I thought was really cool. Um, they just kind of like started treating me weird. They started treating me like shit. And like, I, I said like a couple of things to them and I'm just leaving it at that. But for the most part, if it's somebody who like, I don't care about that much, if it's somebody who um i don't know that well like i just met him like once or twice or something like that and we spoke a little bit it's like oh all right like wow this guy called me a fat ginger uh balding idiot like all right whatever i'm just never gonna speak to this guy again <laughs> you know but I'm, I'm i'm never gonna i'm never gonna i'm never gonna talk to this guy there's no reason for me to be like hey man that really hurt when you said that you know fuck him fuck fuck him fuck him hard kid um me and my girlfriend had to leave a condo living situation we found and made available for a Gen Z couple for roommates because they were super toxic and couldn't handle normal debate or discussion. Yeah, those are the absolute worst people. I cannot fucking stand that shit. High Ecuador says, um, High Ecuador says, I would fuck the shit out of Nifty consensually, but her eighth grade school teacher language is disgusting to me. It's like, really? You're over 30 and this is how you think you should talk? Fuck, man. Yeah, like I'm not I'm not in seventh grade anymore. And even when I was in the seventh grade, I was like, why the fuck is this idiot talking to me like that? Like that that was that was what was going through my head when I was being spoken to like that. Is like, what the fuck is this asshole's problem speaking to me like that? Fucking I feel like I'm being talked down to, you know? And um that's you know, that's what she does. You know, no, no legitimate hate towards Nifty or anything like that. You know, like, you know, she's, she's, she's her own person doing her own thing. And I'm not interested in that thing, but you know, I'm also not trying to like absolutely hate on her, you know? Um, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just telling it like it is, bro. I'm just telling it like it is telling, telling the truth, the truth of the matter. 